Four baby urgents and two on the way, and I'm playing whack-a-mole. Are you going to kill them? <laughs> or keep them? Uh, keep them? You're not gonna actually eat them, are you? If you're gonna keep them, I'll get the stats. If you're not, get good not prime. Gonna... Cause, uh... Like we're at a prime shortage. We are. These will be uh, nice sky defense birds. <laughs> Are they part of the sky net defense? <laughs> Let me know when you're ready and I'll throw down. Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, when I leave this game, I'll, I'll get them. You're gonna ha you're gonna be feeding them for a little while, right? Yeah, yeah, I got to. But because they're argents, they mature faster than the other things do, and the weight. You, you still got hours. Goes up. Oh, you still have hours, sir. Don't you worry. Mm-hmm. Remember, turn off that wonder. Oh, when they come out, the hatch. Mm-hmm. Drake, have you found all the schematics for all the extras? Oh god, no. Not even close. Like I said, they just did a huge update that introduced just a lot of new stuff, so everything's pretty new to me. I played the game before and it was good, it just got a lot better lately with all the new schematics and everything. It is snowing. Oh, and they got snow on the ground, and you Hear your feet in the snow. So there are a couple of the birds that only have 1,044 health and 1,200 health versus two that have 1,600 health. So I'm thinking 1600 of 1,600 health is pretty good, man. Well, I was thinking about dropping the ones that aren't 1,600 health. What What are the weight? And the Just think about it. We, we not, we're not in a pinch for meat, okay? And you're going to be spending the time on the other ones. Why not have extra? You're just wasting birds then. But they'll take away yeah. from the feeding trough. Make two feeding troughs. We have like five or six of them, but the point I'm making is that you'll need to do more meat runs to get that maintain the birds all at the same time. But if you if you're for keeping more birds because you have to use the same time to make two as you would with four or six. I follow that logic. I'm just concerned that I don't want to risk the Quetzal babies over having too many Argent mouths to feed. Alright. 
right, if you don't have any concerns about the Quetzals and all, be happy to keep all of these babies. Because it's easy when you're just power leveling on the Giga that you got to get the meat. Oh, yeah. You're absolutely right. Damn, had a high carry weight. Uh, I believe so. Let me take a look at them real quick. Alright, so weight 490. Weight 490. Four sixty two. That's some good weight on those guys, you know. And four ninety. So they're all really good weight birds. They all have stamina twenty one hundred. Their movement speed is all just one hundred. <coughs> it would be nice to get a high level Argent that had 2,000 health starting out. What's the stamina on up here? Oh, hang on, just got a 165 Pteranodon. Ooh. With base melee damage of 448. Wow. Pretty nice. That is impressive. Hey, there's what about one. its other bases? This one's red, oh yeah, that's a that's a real pretty one, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, they got some really nice colors on them. Like a mint green with a, a red, yeah, dark red, right? All right, put a bunch I of dug us a mine shaft. Here, so if you need more to feed them <laughs> under the stair. You put some meat where? The troughs underneath the ramp. Okay, cool. And then I'll, uh, if you could put some meat in the refrigerators here, I think we'll be set. On the way, there. You see those birdies. Alright, um, since you guys are all leaving seven days, I'll leave seven days, come back dark. I don't think Trace is leaving, and I'd come back there once these guys are able to be for a little while. Oh, okay. I'm back on then. What are you out there doing, Trace? What are we hunting? I'm, uh, getting some wood. Fucking. I got a chainsaw. You want a chainsaw for getting wood? Um, uh, I'm doing good. Aww. Heading back to the... Good We've got one Argent that hatched, but he's going to be put down. Why is that? He didn't quite develop fully. He's only level 87. Poor guy. <laughs> he gets that on oh, the Oh, did you put a front door on this thing? I, did you build this up around it? Yes, I did. Did we put a spike pit around it, too? I'm going to as soon as I can build them. I'm only level like 50 out of 200. Oh, wow. Well, you guys haven't seen anything. We normally can't make it a past day 15, so I'd really like to try and make it past day 15. So I, I was asking earlier on uh, Seven Days to Die, when you get past, say we were on day three, I think. Day when seven you, when is you, the next difficulty increase. When you log off, do the days stop going? Yes. When there's no one on the server. If there's someone on the server, the days will continue. So, okay, so it, you could play the first day and then have to go to work while somebody else plays through. And yes. And you come back and it's day 20. 
Yes. As soon as there's no other players on the uh, server, you all die, or, or it, they kill you while you're sleeping. Is that right? No. What, what, no, they can't kill you while you're sleeping. You can't die while sleeping. You just come in, and it's too hard to. You're surrounded continue. by zombies, right? When you come back. No, zombies only spawn if you're in the area. And awake. The problem. Yeah, the problem occurs is when there are just too many zombies to go out and get anything. You start starving to death in your home, and you can continually die until you have nothing left. And you're like, ah! And then you keep getting weaker and weaker and weaker, and you're like, okay, we can't do this anymore. we got to reset it at day one. Try and get a, try and get to do it again. Are you down the mining shaft hole? Oh, I'm out front. Here, I want to come show you something. What, what are you doing that for? I'm experimenting. I was going to oh, put... That Spikes right there. Oh yeah, I would put spikes all through this stuff. That's a good idea, buddy. I like that plan. Oh, it is. Look. I have no I gas. Yeah, I got it. Uh, here we go. Spike wooden log. Kind of crazy how you can mess with the earth. That's a nice touch. I almost fed the 87, can't do that. I feed it to the Giga. <laughs> uh, this is an offering to your greatness. <laughs> exactly. It took me a long time to make this auger. It's one of the highest end things you can... Well, not hyacinth, but it's really good for digging stuff. I can tell. But it takes auger parts, it takes motors, it takes all kinds of things. It takes a lot. Now, so you're putting down blocks of some kind? Yeah, these are a special kind of block you normally... Well, you can get these blocks anywhere, but normally you have to make a concrete frame, and then you have to frame it in with wood, and then pour concrete into them. But they've changed, they changed how these things work. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything leveled out, so it's going to give you two of those things, so we can have two of those things pretty much everywhere. Okay. Wow, oh, this stuff takes a while to go through. Yeah, even this thing takes a lot of, but it takes a lot of gas. That's why I was asking to get gas earlier. Yeah, I figured as much as that tools needed a high-end resource. Yeah. So with seven days, when you're playing with your buddies, you kind of have to say, hey, let's all, you know, y'all ready? Now let's all log in at the same time to get the best chance at the game. Yeah, that's why me and my uh, buddies, we only play when we have a group. I mean, we have two groups now, but we only play when there's two, two of our groups are on. So that's what you meant by you had to reset the server earlier. Right. Um, well, no, he reset it. Um, Adam reset the server because he got a group that came on with him. Adam, uh, his mom, and one of his buddies plays. And normally I play with that group, but now since we got this here, group. A zombie and a bear. I'm gonna get the zombie but now, and a bear. But now that I have you guys, we can actually even have some PvP. We can set up our place and have little skirmishes and all. Because you don't lose anything when you die, so it's not that big of a deal. Help me with the zombie. Zombie. Where's zombie? Where? Need you to follow. That's why I can't see you. Ah, I was trying to get the tree to fall on her. I was so. You defri you defriended me, man. You gotta refriend me. It just um, other side of the building. There we go. We have a horde coming. I see that. Oh man. If we can drive them across the spikes. Get the spikes in there and get them reinforced. The Giga. That is a monster. The, the fridges are full, and then uh, I started cooking on the one above the, the one by one. That's awesome. Good job. I really want to try and find a higher and level. All the troughs are full. On the side there. I'm even thinking about breeding a Giga. They don't look that hard. This sniper rifle I got from uh, Adam's mom. 
she ended up finding some pieces for it, and I was like, oh yes, I'm, I'm going to use that. To take a closer look at the stats in these guys. Oh, you've. So you've tamed a lot of pteranodons, right, Drake? Oh God, I've I've trained, tamed and bred so many pteranodons. I don't even want to look at them anymore. So, when you look for a good pteranodon, what's the kind of weight, uh, weight, health, and stamina and melee damage that you're looking for? Okay, at, at the start. Over 400 Anything over 400 plus is fine for melee damage. Okay. Um, which is, is high. Is Okay, I can tell you this right now. 375 is average melee damage. 385, excuse me. Okay. As um, far as health is concerned, 900 is average, and about 700 is average for stamp. You said 900 is average? Mm-hmm. And 700 for stamp? Yeah, both these birds have 990 health, 870 stam, 469 melee damage, and 13, uh, rather, 136.5 stamina. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're all average. They're average melee damage. What does the broken bone symbol mean? You need a splint? Um, it means you need a splint. I've got two on my body. Did, did you uh, break your leg? I got hit by a crawler. Yep, that'll do it. A spring drink or break your leg or something. What you want to do is make a trap door to build over through here, like where I'm at, where I dug it down further. Uh -huh. What you do is you make a trap door and put spikes at the bottom, so when at night you put up the trap door, they try and get to you, they fall on top of the spikes and can't get up to hit your door. I gotcha. I have to make a splint. Splint. I'm loving the setup we've got here for the incubation room at Carnot Island. I don't know how you'd get enough food to feed all these things without a, being here. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. <laughs> a Quetzal can get decent meat, but it can't get meat like that Giga. Well, just being here helps. We'd have to transport all that stuff, then we wouldn't have the crazy amount of crime we have either. Yeah, that's true. This place is phenomenal. It's an amazing setup. Should have been doing that earlier. So that location that you're building, is that a raft? Yeah. Cool raft. I figured I'd make all the housing stuff on the right side and then like where dinos can land and walk up on the left side. Do do rafts with foundations stop spawns if they're in you know since it's a raft or is it? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure on that to be honest. Like a really proximity thing. I, I've not seen anything not spawn after doing runs. But. Well, no, I mean, well, so like an example might be if you've got a. Uh, I mean, I could still put it up next to the side of one of those. Well, I'm I'm, I'm, just, I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm just curious because, like, if we had, uh, it's the same thing goes for a uh, Quetzal that has a foundations on it. I'm curious if it lands and stays in an area like uh, the volcano, whether that will affect the metal spawn rates. And I figure if a boat affects it, so would a Quetzal. Because what I'd like to do is get a platform with a ton of uh, forges on it and just have it parked up there. Once I get the wall set up, we can put uh, cookers and stuff on it as next room. But for the Argentavis, that'd be cool. Just park one up there and have all the to go kitchen.
Okay, you can put spikes all the way around now. Not this side, I can't take through this side. Even the auger can't make it through the cement, man. It's crazy. You have to put spikes above it over here, but I dug a hole through the back over here so that I'll walk on it. Oh god, I'm dying from thirst. Hunger. Take your jacket off. I don't have a jacket on, buddy. <laughs> you mean it's not summer and you have a jacket on and you're getting thirsty and you don't know why? <laughs> why am I so hot? I have this big old insulated jacket on. I don't know. I just oh, don't get this. Oh my god, bring me water. Okay, I'm putting the big log spikes down. Is it a trap door? I think you can use scrap iron to upgrade that stuff. Door, vault door, wood door. I don't see a trap door. Ramp, maybe? No, it, it's not, it's a trap door. Wood ramp, trap ramp, cobblestone ramp, concrete ramp. Oh, interesting. Oh, you right mouse click on it. I gotcha. So right mouse clicking on it with a hammer takes it up the different grade scales. Yeah, there's a bunch of upgrades for everything. Oh, I need more iron. Oh. Scrap iron or iron? Scrap iron. <coughs> Is that one game evolved? I think you know if it's sure it's evolved or not. The one where it's uh four players versus a monster. Yeah, it sucks. And <laughs> everything you have to pay for. What? Evolve. Everything. Yeah. They pay 60 bucks and to get a costume, you have to pay for it. To get a new gun, you have to pay for it. It's all cash money. Oh, wow. You can't get anything in there unless you spend real money. And the ex like the DLC they come out with, all paid for. They come out with a new boss, have to buy the have to buy the new monster. They come out with a new class, have to buy that class. All cash. So you, have you bought it or something? I was in for... The, I bought it for the pre-release. And I got a refund on it. So did like 90% of the people that bought it. Because after the first week it was out, they released an expansion, another 30 bucks. Everybody's like, what? What just happened? You see, not enough people bought the game, so we can't do free DLC. <laughs> yeah, well, then everybody the got a refund. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm cool with if I've got to like get the DLC, but I don't want to pay 60 bucks, then the uh huh. Yeah, how about Ark, where you pay thirty bucks or less if it's on sale, and you get all the expense, you get everything. Yeah, because it's just everything. Yeah, Ark's awesome. Ark is a blast. The same with Seven Days to Die. You get all the upgrades and everything for free. Yep. All I need now is a My Little Ponies skin expansion for Ark. Like uh, you know, like a mod where you can do My Little Ponies. You can be a, a pony running around with dinosaurs. Okay, I'm upgrading it with a <laughs> scrap iron. I'm upgrading it all the way because I'm not listening to this guy talk. <laughs> it's for my daughter and me, but mostly my daughter. So, Trace, how many My Little Ponies can you name? Uh, probably a couple. Oh. Because of my daughters, right? Yeah. We have like a, a memory game that you know she knows like all the names of them. It's just hearing her talk about it. I think because there's ones from the '80s and then there's the new ones. Yeah, Basically. that's true. They've got like two different. Applejack, I think, is one of them. Yep. There you go. And these things upgrade. Once, 
twice, three, four times. Yep. This should help out tremendously. We need to, um, you need to start making more. Oh, I'm out of scrap iron. I think I got some more in here. Dude, these things take a lot of scrap iron. Yeah, if you just start putting those up, I'll start upgrading them behind you. Oh, somebody got too close. Somebody Don't got too. Die? Somebody got too close and got shot. Where? Uh, Carno, Carno Island. I heard the auto turret start firing. Yep. He's like, I'll not go near you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Gotta check the log and see if he actually died, though. It would tell you if you killed him. I've got my face buried in birds right now. Your tribe killed baby Argentavis. Okay. Um, no. Just a warning shot. They would have had to get pretty close. We might have to try out like uh, another server with a lot of players on it to kind of get experienced with, uh, you know, low-level tribe fighting. But we probably wouldn't see much of it, would we? There'd be big tribes that, tribes that just come through and stomp you. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. That's, that's the best way for low-level fighting is survival of the fittest. Yeah, I agree. You know what? We could probably do that 100v100, and that would be pretty neat. Because yeah, I think we need some more spikes. Start out a community, and then uh, I think you have to live up your dinosaurs, tame them up, get guns, and go to war. I would imagine. Don't know. Never played a hundred v hundred. Let's do it. More spikes, you said. I just heard a bear. That's what I keep hearing, but I don't see one. A bear. A bear, baby. Pooh bear? I don't know if it's a poo bear. It sounds like. Uh, oh, crap. I found the bear. In the base? Oh, no. Die. Oof. He was. Yeah, he was in the tunnels. Did you hear that? It hurt worse than it sounded. Get him skinned. Old age. Want me to skin him, bud? He disappeared. He he went into a pile of muck. I shot him too many times. I got scared. Okay. Well, be careful when you walk out the door. Zombies can't jump, right? No. So what are your thoughts on Argents that have, say, 5k health and then everything else goes into speed?
think it makes a good uh, bird for scouting. <laughs> Aryan stuff. No, scouting on an Argent silliness, man. You can't spin away to dodge, you can't spin to DC. And they're way too bulky and slow. Crying on will kill you every time. Couldn't you grab them off their mount while they're uh, flying around all crazy like? Zombie coming. No. The, Ar the Argent will be a sitting duck because the other guy's faster. <clears throat> but as soon as they grab you off your mount, Like when they fly by, you spam your your grab, and if they get you Back before up. you get them, then they'll be spinning through. You can't grab somebody off while they're spinning. No. Hey! Well, that guy took a beating. I was not aware you couldn't grab them while they spin. Well, I mean, it's just virtually impossible. Because their speed increases and then they're desync, so you won't even tell. You won't even be able to tell where they're at till it's too late. It look like they're coming to you. I mean, you might get lucky and just spam it enough, but now it is very likely for them to just be flying by since they're way faster than you, and them spam their grab and pull you off in Argent since they're Argent slower. Your bird will never be able to catch up to you. Once they pull you off, they'd have to either immediately drop you, which they likely would. Or if they're holding no, you, they, they they spin downwards, which means that they drop you and hit you like two or three times on the way down. Hmm. I gotta practice that. As far as combat birds are considered, trained on best. I mean, unless there's auto turrets, which can mess up a train on pretty good. Mm-hmm. But if there's somebody soaking damage on auto turrets, and you've got Argents on aggressive hanging out at the top of this base here, set to follow. Um, see, and Argents are super easy to kill on, in comparison to Tranodons when you have one on a Tranodon. If you're an NPC versus a Tranodon with a player, what you'll do is you just fly ahead of the Tranodon, I mean ahead of the Argent, because Argents, no matter how much speed they have, cannot be faster than even a base level freaking Tranodon. Um, We'll get in front of them, and then you just turn around and you spin through them. They can't hit you while you're spinning. They won't be able to attack you. Because your attack <coughs> will come. You'll be too fast for the, even the computer to register. When you're coming at them, they'll try to attack, but you'll already be out of the attack box. <coughs> you know, you could uh, disinvite me from the tribe. I'll get on Booyah real fast, and you grab a, uh, a um, thingamajigger and do it. And I'll, sh I'll show, you some, show you the frustrations of such things of... Why Argents are never used. Yeah, it sounds like fun. I'll uh, bring a bunch of parachutes because I'm sure I'll be floating in the sky quite a bit. Or yeah, dead. See, when you're floating in the sky, they'll just be twisting through you. Yep. And I could have a, a gun out firing, though, right? Can I not shoot them yeah, while they're spinning? You can, but I mean, have you ever tried to. This is the problem. No, I haven't fire tried to. Parachute. Do it. So what happens is you're moving, right? Mm -hmm. This is okay. This, there's 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 six elements. Okay, their bird's moving, which sends a ping to the server. Okay, that ping to tell you where that bird currently is has to send to you. You have to pull the trigger, but you're moving, right? And they're moving, so it's gonna have to be calculated: is their movements, the ping to server, ping to you, your movements, ping to server, ping back to them. And then their movement ping back because it's a different movement then so you kinda get a super laggy kind of reaction. So that means even aim bots don't work when you're falling like that because it just can't calculate fast enough. It becomes very difficult. So pretty much when you're moving and they're moving, the latency is doubled. So if you have say, you know, a hundred latency or fifty latency and you're moving and they're moving, then it doubles the latency on trying to hit something. So you go to 150 or 200 latency, which you still can hit people, I'm sure, but you're not going to hit no way near as much. If you have an aimbot, which will calculate all the trajectories for you, you have a lot better chance. But as a human player, I've played a lot of FPSs, and dual moving targets is, is a prey and spray. 
So what I would suggest, which is the best anti Tranodon defense in the entire game, is a good shotgun. A nice shotgun, one shot to a Tranodon's butt kills it. <laughs> so it's 3,600 damage. You load them full of... And then they have a really good spread, so trajectory isn't as bad because they have a larger window. Yeah, their hitbox is a lot larger. So if they're flying around you trying to spin through and you got a shotgun, you can just load them full with an automatic shotgun. And you might not kill them, but you're going to make them think twice about trying to come mess with you again. If they pick you up and you have your shotgun equipped, which you should when you're in aerial combat, and you just load a couple within the... Um, with the pump shotgun, you load a couple on their butt because you got six shots before you have to reload. There's no Tranodon in known history that can take six pumps to the booty hole. <laughs> it's like a little blonde, man. They just can't take it. How many booty holes does it have when you're done? Oh, many, sir. Many. <laughs> but yeah, shotgun versus Tranodon. Epic. Um... I don't know a lot about Quetzals. I haven't seen that many Quetzals ever in aerial combat unless they're just turret platforms. And then you just sit there and laugh, as you know, as you saw the other day. You're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Dymos, Dymos couldn't get past the blast shield, and uh, nope. the turrets are just Nothing good. pop, 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 pop. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Nonstop. But if somebody's hanging a, like a turtle like we were doing for one of the other tribes... And getting uh, soaking up the turret damage. I think would the Argents even attack if there's just a? I guess they would if it's proximity close enough that they go aggressive on the turtle. I'm just wondering if there's any value to these Argents at all. Oops! Ow! 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 That's wrong. Ow! Oh. So. Argents are faster than Quetzals, right? No, they're slower. Mm. Even if you put speed on them? Yes. Speed is calculated by a percentile of base speed. All birds have the same base percentile. So when you get a Tranodon, base speed, 136, right? Mm-hmm. 0.5. It can fly the same speed as a Quetzal, 136.5. Argents, 100. So per point value, so say if they get, I'll uh, get the point value up for them real fast once I get inside. So movement is all equal, and then points put in. So like a, an, uh, no, this it's, it's not equal. Okay. It's the base given value is equal. Does does that make sense? So say all birds have ten movement speed. When a bird is tamed. Um, there's a global move speed. It's 10. Argents get 10 because they have 100% of base movement speed. So they get 10. Quetzals have 136. So Quetzals can move at 13.6. So if I have an Argent that has 100 and I bring it up to 136.5... It would move just as fast as, an, as a base tamed... Pteranodon. Quetzal and Quetzal. or Pteranodon. But it already has... Let me tell you how many Argents and how many points per level does it get per for speed? Moves be 2.5 percent. So 2.5 percent divided into 36. Let's see, 36 divided by 2.5 is equal to. So you would spend 15 points trying to get it just to the base movement speed of a Quetzal or a um, Tranodon. Now, when you go with a Tranodon that say has a base of 136. Take zero points to get to 136. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm going to show you how much percentile because you get a base percentile. So it's so they get 2.5 percent per level when they have a base of 10. So that means they get two and a half points of move speed per level. Now a Tranodon for its basement movement speed starts out with 136.5 plus it gets 3.5 percent of its basement movement speed. And this this is the this is the kicker for the Tranodon. The taming bonus from its base is thirty six point five. So that means if you tame one, it gains thirty six point five percent from base. That's why you have a Tranodon would normally go a hundred, but if you tame it it goes thirty six point five, same as Quetzals. Argents get no base increase from being tamed. So right. they stay 
at 100%. Which matches what so, I saw, yeah. Yeah, so one point from a Tranodon, or 14 points from a Tranodon, excuse me. Let's see here, 15. That's 15 times 3.4. 15 times 3.4. Oh, God. Would be 51 plus 136.5. Okay, you'd have 187.5 movement speed for the same amount of points invested in movement speed on a Tranodon. Yeah, I'm not I'm not thinking an Arge is going to catch a Tranodon. What I'm thinking about is like Quetzal's doing what we did. How do you counter that? How do you counter getting face rolled by a bunch of Quetzals? <laughs> Pretty you much. Don't. That's just how that works. The only thing that could have done it is automated turrets with a lot of ammo. Quetzals can't take out automated turrets. You can't get close enough with automatic turrets on max range because a Quetzal turret has 50% reduced turret range even set on high than a standard uh, than a stationary turret does. Moving platform turrets have less range than stationary turrets. Gotcha. Uh, so you would because Quetzals still take the additional four four, four times damage, and an auto turret does like 40 damage. A bullet, I think. So, we came at the other tribes with Quetzals with turrets on them. Yes. Tranodons stand no chance. Argents are going to get torn up by it too. Because they, the auto turrets. But yeah, but they might be able to soak more, and the auto turrets have to deal with other things as well in the air. Um, but ultimately, Argents can't do it, at least not on their own. Okay. The Dymos can't do it because they're going to get torn up by the turrets as well. Um, now, now, see, that's that's where some people go wrong. Dymos, if you level speed, the turrets can't track them. They won't be able to hit them with crap. They'll waste hundreds of rounds per dymo. Hmm. I was, so, I was reading a Reddit article about that. So I've been putting um, health into them. Speed is the way to go. Oh, eh? well, yeah, health, health, no. Because when they're inside your base, you want 100% speed. I mean, health and attack damage. Because people are going to be on foot with a gun. It's going to be hard to hit them, and they can soak a lot more from a gun than they can a turret. Okay, see, look at this. And on health, you know, you can get a good health bird. You can get a Tranodon hatch with, you know, 1,200 health without too much difficulty. I've had several 12 to 1,300 health hatch. And they get 27% of their health value, so they get 270 health per tick. I've seen an Argent hatch with 2,500, so about double what you can have with that. So per point in health, they can have double the health. Because both of them are 27% increase, but the base value is what it goes off of. So one would be 1,500, one would be 3,000. So one would get 300 health, and one would get 150 health. So you could double the health on the Argent, so they would definitely be able to soak more damage. But if you have a 10,000 health, you're on, you get the auto. Hey, Drake, I got a turn. question for you. Yes, My sir. Time's coming. I oh, crap. When is day seven? I did not put spikes all the way around because we were, had that one spot to go in and out. You want me to put the spike down there? Oh, man. Yes. No, uh, yeah, put a spike all the way at the very bottom there and upgrade it. I'm going to finish this not-so-theory crafting. Um, oh, I'm going to need more wood for crafting. that. Where did the spikes go? Oh, no, I got a few extra. Control F. Ready? My crafting's turret right in my auto. Auto turret. Okay, where is base stand? DPS is that, but I want range, rate of fire. Hey, hey, well, actually, DPS is. I can only get them so yeah. far. Yeah, I got plenty of scrap metal left. I have a bunch in my backpack. Those things can break your legs. Make sure you hop over it. See if you survive the night. 
And then day seven is approaching, which will be crazy. Looking forward to it. Get past day seven. If we can make day fourteen, it'll be pretty good. Okay, two hundred DPS. Range damage seventy. Okay, so let's just take seventy. We'll use seventy because it's a lower number. We take seventy times four because I take double damage. Two hundred eighty, or we could take let's see, go two hundred times four. Eight hundred damage a second. Okay. So an auto, a single auto turret does 800 damage a second to a bird. So if you have an Argent at 3,000 health times point two seven point eight seconds. Have, let's see, 3,000. 3,000 times 20, it'd be point two seven is 800. So you get 800... Is that right? 27% of 3,000 is 800? Yeah, that's about right, yeah. Okay, so if how many points would you want to point... You want, what, a 5k bird, you said? I was thinking 5k would be a decent amount of health. Uh, Let's go 6,500 just, just to crush your dreams. <laughs> so if you take 6,500 uh -huh. and you divide it by 800... You get a total of eight seconds in Argent Colossa versus a single turret. Now you divide that by four turrets, and you have a two-second Argent. He can tank a turret for two seconds. Or he can tank a Quetzal Castle, Sky Castle, for two seconds with four turrets. Yeah, so I'm thinking the only counter to Quetzals with turrets is more Quetzals with turrets. <laughs> oh, sir, you're a genius. Yeah, and it's like mixing, uh, you know, having mashed potatoes and corn. They're so they're just not the same. So you want a health, you want a health and speed Quetzal, so you can keep up with a fleeing Quetzal while firing its turrets. And, yes. And um, you want to have more turrets. <laughs> what you do with and you, uh, I have and you want land-based turrets, and you also and want be able to shoot down. and you want plant seed turrets on them as well, plant X seed. To yes, slow them. plant seed does really good against everything in the air because it gets you really laggy and it glitches the game to the point where you can't move and the automated turrets tear you up. You so for every automated, every automated turret you have, you have a plant turret. That's the ratio that you're supposed to have. And have them right next One. to each other so their ranges are the same. Well, not right next to each other, but somewhat close. You want to have them three block or... You want to have them at least one block or one square away. So turret, one square, plant turret. Because you don't want an RPG to be able to take out both at once. You want them to have to be able to shoot two shots rather than one shot. Because one RPG will take it out an auto turret, unfortunately. One RPG will take out a Quetzal and its rider, apparently. <laughs> if the Quetzal only has 1,000 health or whatever. <laughs> I think it had 4,000, but yeah, yeah, that was, that was too bad. in the head. I mean, you shot at point blank range in the head. Yep. I mean, <laughs> that was that was that coming. I don't care who you that, are. That was coming. Yep. And I don't think he's been back. He hasn't even made another character since poor guy. The shame was too great. What you shooting? Some screamers. Here. We made it through the night. Were there lots this of bodies out by the pit? Broken leg ones, and yeah, they they'll break their legs really fast. They die a lot slower when it's their body. But have you been downstairs yet and saw my mine? If you run downstairs and take the first left, you'll see my mine shaft I'm making. I'm down here. I'm actually uh, <coughs> dropping my stone axes here that I'm ass producing. Oh, here, move! I can't get by you in this hallway. Take a left as soon as you can. Oh, uh, dead bodies decompose into uh, soil, fertile soil. Take a left. There you go. Oh, I see. Going off into who knows where. And now I bury you. <laughs> <laughs> I like all the fresh players we're getting on the server. Yep. 
Because Zero's gone, man. Low pop servers will always bring new guys looking to take over the server. That's why my group came there. Super low pop. We're like, yeah, we'll go ahead and take over this server. The last server we took over was 90. We wiped all the guys on there and moved on again. Until he ran into Chinese with hack aimbotters. That freaking uh, Zuli, or not Zuli, but freaking. Like, I don't know what it's called. It's called, like, freaking X Mule or something. Stupid Chinese. So you were saying you'd go to a server, clean it, and then go to the next server? I uh, yes. I mean, me and my uh, group that I played with, uh, one of the, um, tr the guy that you met today, Trip. And he was one of the guys that used to do that with me. That was back in the day when, when just having the knowledge of the game, since everybody is so fresh, you always had the upper hand. We would always go to servers where people were duping, and just totally annihilate them. Because I mean, we knew the dupe at the time too, so we would go to the server and we would have a metal base. You know, a hundred times the size of mine within the first day or two, because all you had to do is just do for it. You could use a a hatch, the um, hatch you use for like ceiling hatches. You could hold it up in front of you without placing it while it was still red. You could have the cursor over and demolish it. So you would get uh, eight metal and four cementing paste, I think, something like that. And you just continuously do that until you had thousands of metal and thousands of cementing paste. And, and this that's is, how everybody got so built and, up on these servers. And this is on unofficial servers? Official servers. Until they fixed it? Until they fixed it, and that's how people got built up. The next dupe was where everybody stood around and you build a foundation. Everybody stood around the foundation, and everybody demolished at the same time, and everybody got the feedback. Oh, boy. So everybody got, what, like 12 metal and 8 cementing paste, something like that? So there's they're just literally standing there going, okay, one, two, three, go. Yes. New one. One, two, three, go. Who won? Yep. Mm -hmm. And obviously you do that with three people, you get one-third the product back. You do that with two people, you get double the product back. You do it with eight people, you get uh, seven times the product back. Oh, well, no. Four times the product back. Yeah, that's still crazy. So though. you can imagine how fast that stuff went up. And they never wipe servers from it. That's why a lot of the tribes on other servers, and probably even your guys, got beefed up a lot. Hmm. So, th so as you said, this is a very rare server. <laughs> it is. It's a very rare server. That's why I was uh, like, you know what, this server's, this server's so peaceful. I'm not going to have to do no underhand ghost wall techniques or anything like that. Uh, you can narc out your buddy. You can still do it to this day. What you do is you narc out your buddy, and you grab him like you're dragging him while he's narked out, and you spin in a circle and let go of him, and he'll throw <laughs> through any wall because he doesn't have collision. <laughs> oh, God. And then That's he gets so up wrong. in their base, and he wakes up. Right, you're asking, well, how are you going to get all the goodies out? Well, what you do is he takes the narcs over there and he eats them. He lays down on the ground in prone position and backs all the way up until his feet are sticking out through the wall. He eats the narcs, gets past that. His buddy grabs him through the wall and pulls him out. Bam, done. Raid without a single block destroyed. And that still works today. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And they said they fixed being able to fly underground into people's bases. Booyah, I already broke it. It's not put out yet. I don't think I'm going to put it out on Reddit. But I got it to work. All you have to do is go to those presents when they're falling, stand directly under the present, and it'll push you under with your Tranodon under through the earth. And as soon as you fall a block or two, you pop out like you're flying, and then you'll be flying under the earth. So you did that with, uh, uh, is that what you were saying the other day? We were like, hey, try something you know, s stand underneath the uh, present when it comes down? Is that what you are trying to get me to do, fall through? Yeah. Hey, Drake, we're going to need to get some, I need to get some water. Is there a place close by? So the <coughs> circus can do it again? Well, no, I, I told you to mark that place with the swimming pool. It's the closest yeah, place I know of. Okay, yeah, that's the closest I know of then. You can also make a couple buckets and just bring back a couple buckets. I have an A bucket. Hey, the deer are still here, so we kill them. You do what you want, boss. I mean, we always need more hide. If we made more hide, we could get another uh, furnace. We could be burning more. Or wet. 
And it just right mouse click to fill that thing up. There yep. it is. I was too close to it. I love how we got a sign that says Welcome to Carno Island Public Hunting Grounds, no building allowed. And then for them to get to see the sign, they're getting shot up by turrets. <laughs> from, from well, that <laughs> sign is outdated. So. <laughs> I think we might want to change that. Welcome to Carno Island. If you're here, beware. Roaming ag Giganto is on aggressive. Hey, did you put did you put down your claim block somewhere over there? I did. Out in the woods, I think. No, where where'd you put it out at? I have to go check. Oh no, I mean, like, is it in somewhere close to us? I have no idea where it's at, to be honest. Okay, well, I wouldn't worry about it unless you know it's close to us. So claim blocks only matter when you got lots of players on the server going, right? Not a lot. My buddy Adam and some of his friends will get a little nosy on our stuff, if you know what I mean. They might need a little, a little persuasion not to. Like what? What's the persuasion not to? Turret. A claim block makes it extremely difficult for them to get in. Oh, okay. You, so you're saying they might get nosy and demolish some of your stuff to get in to see what you got going on? Yeah. And take whatever we have that is good. I mean, this is a PvP server. Uh, uh -oh. It's mostly PVE. I thought you were all just trying More. to survive together. Well, we are to a degree, but once when there's two different groups, we nothing serious as in like that's our main goal, but we do like having fun. And shooting your buddy in the face every once in a while is, you know, fun in most people's book. And that was the first thing I had to do when I met Trace on the server was give him a good whack with the torch. <laughs> yep. uh, you didn't retaliate though. <laughs> you got, you, had a, you had like a bat or something. You'd have beaten me down. Mm. All right. I got water. Gonna come back and distill it. You should have bring a bunch of jars. We probably got a bunch. You can make jars from the forge if you have. Uh, I got thirty. Oh, we gotta do is put sand or glass in there. Sure made a lot of paints, six. Yeah, I've seen what what paints could be made. Feel free to do them up. <laughs> I was having fun with it. Mhm. Mm oh, I ran out of room for clay. What? With a bucket of water. Cook that as well. I don't know if you can cook a bucket of water. Find out, shall we? Wow, okay, I've got enough clay for a lifetime now. Good. Can you make another forage for us? I uh, need bellows, but we'll see what I can do. Bucket of water, where do I put Um, We'll have to make a hole for it here. We'll make one right outside. Oh, I see. Actually, okay. Once you have this, you have a water source. Kind of, sort of. I mean, it will be depleted, but you can carry a lot of water in it. There you go. Put it in the middle of that. Right over here. Like Minecraft. This part is exactly like Minecraft. Where it yeah, but it's not, it's not infinite, though.
Oh man, we're on day seven. Tonight should be interesting. We're actually in a really good place. I'm surprised we've got tax so little as we have. Normally it's much more difficult. Turn the difficulty down just for us. Maybe. You gotta put the water on the fire. It is. I don't see it on the fire. Oh, I see it down there. Twenty-five. Okay, never mind. I have to remember to change the change the positioning. Yes, I know. John Connery or something. Yes. <laughs> yes, Miss Moneypenny. Yes, Miss Moneybird. I have the target in sight. Money Penny, what a name. What a claim to fame. What a name. You're now level 11 and have 16 points to spend. It's because you're a pro, yeah? Right. You're level 50, you said? Um, let me see. I am level 52. Out of 200. One fourth away there. Hey, um, no, I guess it wouldn't work. I was thinking you could, uh, well, maybe with a Quetzal. There's a 10-something Rex 6 if you wanted to knock one out and tame it with Prime. It'd be real easy. You still with a 6? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not against that idea. You want to tame a 108 Rex? Do you have enough narc, uh, Trank Arrows? You probably need... Close to probably 50 to 100. Um, no, I've got 23 at the moment. Alright, in the vault, I think I, I made like 130. If you find them in the vault and you've got your crossbow on you, I'll tank this thing. You might want to take a Quetzal with a platform up into the air and then shoot down off the back of it at the Rex just so it didn't aggro on you. Um, let me grab some meat. I've got a quarter damage right now from the freezing. Good call. I'm pretty low myself. I can bring some. No, I've got plenty of meat. Before you come, can you throw some meat on the pteranodons? Uh, yes. Does it matter if it's cooked or not? Uh, raw would well, be best. I'll grab some, I'll yeah, grab some raw meat and put it on them. That'd be best. And how are we going to tame the Rex? Do I need to bring. Or are you just you're gonna eat everything here, right? I'm gonna take a video of the the Rex taming via Giganto tanking. <laughs> Be kind of neat. Um, I'll tank it with the Giganto. You're gonna take the Quetzal over and fly with the platform high enough that you don't get aggro with it, and then shoot down off the back of the Quetzal, which should be on passive, and just shoot it while I tank the hits. All right. I'm feeding the bird right now. I might have to retell me what to do. Sure, sure, sure. Moment, uh, 